Hi, this is Harry Renz. So I'm here on the mountains today. I'm back in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And we're on Pilgrim's Trail. I'm with Harley doing rider. Um, so yeah, we just had a little jog up to the trail. Now we're overlooking Chiang Mai. It's pretty beautiful. We've got the insects around us. It's really nice. It's my favorite trail. It feels really good to be back in Chiang Mai on it. Um, yeah, so Harley, you might know him as a cyclist predominantly. He does a lot of running now and again. Um, what's your marathon PR, Harley? 248. Do you do a lot of running to get to that? Or? I average about 10 miles a week for the last five years. Uh, so it's amazing. So for myself, my PR is 248. Hoping to break that pretty soon in Chiang Mai Marathon, so uh, stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, you, myself. You'll smash that. You'll yeah. smash that. Man. But yeah, I could never do that after 10 miles a week. But um, what's your secret, man? I think it's cycling. Uh, so if you look at my 5K time, is like 16.25. Yours is sub 15. Yeah, yeah. So you can see there that Harry's a lot faster than me. What helps me with cycling though is I can run the distance and I find I can work the fat metabolism, your, your carbohydrate metabolism and your mental mindset of pushing hard for you know, two mm. three hours. On the bike you can do that, you get your heart rate up and just hold it and then when you go and run that distance you've got the, you've got the upper body for it, you've got the fat metabolism, you've got everything. All you need to do is 10 miles a week so you've got the leg strength to do that. Awesome. Obviously you want to run your fastest, mm. you've got to do more than 10 miles a week but cycling is great cross training. I know Mo Farah now uses the bicycle for cross training. Mm, yeah, definitely. It's super important. I mean, we were talking about earlier, it's all about the mentality and um, what a lot of people do is they build these challenges, these goals up and they just put them on like a, a pedestal, make it a lot higher and make it feel like they can't achieve it and it's unachievable, um, especially with things like a marathon or something. But that's the, the goal, yeah, the main goal is just to get out of moving. As long as you're moving, obviously you're moving cruising. your body, yeah. As, as Harley said, and you're being consistent, then you're going to develop that fitness and you'll get yourself through a marathon easy. You don't necessarily have to be running your heart out and destroying your legs if you're not if you're not typically a runner. Um, something like cycling is obviously a really useful tool to do that. And then as long as you do a bit of running so you know how to run, then you're going to get through yourself through a marathon and then you know, you'll be able to build up your running more as you progress through that because of your fitness you've built on the bike. Definitely. Yeah, I'd say for your first marathon, just walk it and don't even register a marathon. Mm -hmm. Just go and walk a marathon, start dead last and, and walk the marathon as like a support person. Yeah, helping people try their shoelaces or whatever. Don't even register, just walk the marathon. Mm -hmm. And then you, the next time you can walk half and jog the rest half. And then you break the chunk the marathon down. The marathon is easy as, man. I've got friends who in their 60s, they did 366 marathons in a row every single day. Marathon's a piece of cake, banana vegan cake. So what people do is they, they, they make it bigger than it really is. Marathon's easy as. So the more you do, the easier they get. So my, my tip for your first marathon to so actually enjoy it is break it down and walk it and give other people support in the marathon. Yeah, for sure. And that's definitely it though. It doesn't have to be a marathon. Like, you know, a lot of people feel like if they're going to get running, the marathon is what they need to achieve because that's what people see and what's what people know and, and know as being obviously a hard challenge to get to. But as we said, it is achievable. But, you know, just start slowly, start with a 5K. Obviously, things like park runs are a really great way to get into running. Um, but just don't take it too serious. Just enjoy it and you build it up and you build the mileage up. And as Harley said, don't register the miles. Just do, just do the enjoyment, do the time and just have fun with it and your fitness will come as it goes. Because at the end of the day, the marathon is just an arbitrary number. It means nothing. And the reason why it's so popular is because it's been marketed so much. So it's just sure, a big, yeah. in, it's a big industry. It's huge money. So I mean, I love doing marathons, but don't think the marathon is something special. I mean, it's, it is on the day, maybe, but it's don't, 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 don't stress out, man. It's just another run. It's just another run. Just enjoy it. Definitely. That's it. So just enjoy it. Go out, and run, have a good time. See you on the road. Yeah. Or the trail. Or the trail. Yeah. <laughs> Mountains. Excellent. Awesome. All right, that was just under four minutes. That was great.